living in a northwest neighborhood are anxious tonight, anxiously awaiting the Jacksonville mayor's arrival after nearly two months of investigation by our I-team, revealing problems with how these Habajack's homes were made. The I-team first brought you the story in May. That's when residents came to us for help with their cracking and sinking homes. Those homes built by Habajack's volunteers 16 years ago. We learned that some of them were built on top of a landfill. After working for months to get help, Fairway Oaks homeowners learned Mayor Lenny Curry will come see the homes for himself tomorrow. Channel 4's Francesca Amerker joining us live with this big update. Francesca. Well, you know, these residents have been right here at City Hall week after week trying to get some type of help from City Council. And they've even gone as far as giving multiple emails and sending multiple emails to the mayor. Last week, he did side with Habajacks, stating that the reason for those cracking slabs was because of poor maintenance. And now tomorrow, he's going to be going to uh, Fairway Oaks himself to see what he has to say. What? I can't believe it. But... If he who he say he is, he got to do the right thing if he say he's for the people. That was the reaction of Donna Johnson and most of the residents in Fairway Oaks. After hearing the news they've been waiting for, yes. we're yes. asking you to come and see for yourself. Just last Friday, residents gathered to invite the mayor to see their cracking slabs and sinking homes himself. After he sided with Habajacks last Thursday, who stated the homes were inspected by the city in 2000 and 2007, and there were no construction-related problems, rather post-construction and or neglected maintenance problems. The I-team revealed some of the 85 homes were built on parts of a landfill. A third-party inspection of one of the homes showed the concrete used by Habajacks contained too much water, which also caused the slabs to crack and the home homes face defective construction from the beginning. Now residents are eager for the mayor's visit. And seeing is believing. You come and see for yourself and then you judge and tell us if it's a lack of maintenance, crack slab and, 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 and nails popping out the wall and door frames just falling apart. You tell me if it's a lack of maintenance. I want to know. And again, all we know is that the mayor is set to go to Fairway Oaks at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow. We're not sure if he'll have a city building inspector with him, if he will have people taking pictures or what, but we will be there with him to ask some questions. And our reporting live at City Hall, Francesca Amaker, Channel 4, the local station. Thank you, Fran. Two more cases of Zika virus added to the list today in Duval County. That brings the total number of cases in Northeast Florida to 13. As these numbers across Florida rise, some here in our area are taking steps to protect themselves. Channel 4's Ethan Calloway is joining us live tonight with what one local family is doing about it. Ethan? Kent, the CDC and the health department are recommending everyone take some simple steps to protect themselves, like using mosquito spray or emptying